I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand the concept of weighted averages. We will take percent marks as an example. So let us say that you have had two tests so far. One we are calling as a quiz, the other one as a test. Now let us say in the quiz you get 90% uh, marks. Let us say we get 90% marks in the quiz and around 80% marks in the test. Now the question is, you need to find the average of the two, right? So we need to find the average marks or average percent marks. That is what we need to find. Now if I say that in quiz you had 90% and in the test you had 80%, average is kind of simple. We just add them up and divide by two. So we say, well, it is 90% plus 80% divide by 2. Since there are two things, right, which we added, quiz and the test, and so what we get here is, let me just add it up and divide by 2 to get the answer. So we'll write 90 plus 80 equals 2, and then divide by 2. We get 85%. So as you can see, the value which we got was the center value, right? exactly in between so halfway do you see that so 85 was kind of here right in the center the average we sometimes refer to this as mean value also right so this value is the average or the mean value which is midway between the two okay reason for that is that we are saying that both are having the same importance but at times it may not be the case, right? Uh, let me show you what we have done here. We have done, we have divided 90% by 2 and added 80% divided by 2, right? So that's a common denominator. I could write like this. So in this particular case, what we are saying is that each has half, half, same weight. We can say 50% uh, weight. 50%, 50%, this is what we are saying, importance or weight. So we say that the importance of quiz is 50% and that of test is also 50%. So we'll take half of these marks, so half times 90% plus half times 80, right? You could write this as half times 90%, is it okay? Plus half times 80% to get your result right so so that is the case that means both quiz and the test are equally important right so what we have here is to make a hole which is 50 plus 50 is one hole that gives us total 100 percent right or you could say half plus half gives us one hole right so this is when the weights are equal same importance now the question is, what happens if I change the importance? That is to say, I have different weightages. Now if I say different weight, that is, I am saying now that test is more important. That is to say, that the weight of test is, uh, let us say, 80%. And that of the quiz is 100 minus 80, just 20%. Okay then what happens to the average now in such cases since their weights are different we call this as weighted average you will just see that weighted average is very different from what we got earlier now in this case since the importance or the weight of test is more our average or the mean will shift towards 80% it means it will be lower than 85 let us calculate how now since this is 20% we have to take 20% of 90% that is to say 20% is 0 0.2 right convert this to decimal value just as we converted half to 0 0.5 in this case half we could write 0 0.5 you could do fraction also so we will convert to 20% is decimal value 0 0.20, 80% is 0 
So to find the weighted mean, what we are going to do is we are going to multiply our marks. Let me rewrite the marks here. Marks for us are, let me rewrite. What we have here is, I'm just copying these 90 and 80 percent here. We have 90 percent for the quiz and 80 percent for the test. So when we multiply these two, we get the numerator, that is the value, right, associated with it. So in this case, the weighted average will be 90% times 20%, that means 90 times 0 0.2 plus 80 times 0 0.8 will give us the total value as we did, right? So that is to say, let's calculate. So in this case, it will be 90 times 0.2 equals to 18. It is 18 here plus 80 times 0.8. That gives us 64. And when you add them, 64 plus 18, what do you get? 82%, right? So you get 82%. Do you see that? Now, the average weight or the average of your marks has shifted. It has changed from 85 to 82, lower and towards the test marks. Do you see that? So that is how the weights or the numbers associated shift the average. And that is how we get a name here, which is weighted average, right? I hope you understand and appreciate this concept. So it becomes 82%. If I take another scenario where the weights are kind of different, right? So let us say you have a quiz. It's a new scenario. So we have a quiz and again a test. And let's say the weight for the quiz is, let's take 30%. And for the test is 70% because the whole should be 100%. Is that okay? and the marks obtained are in the quiz is, is this time lower, let's say 60%, right? But on the test, you score higher, let's say 80%. In that case, what is going to be the weighted average? Can you find out the weighted average in this case? Let this be an exercise for you, right? You can pause the video and answer the question. As expected, Weighted average will be closer to 80%, right? It will not be 70. It will not be a mid value. It is going to be 80%. And how do we get it? So we will multiply marks with the weight, right? So weight is 30%, which could be converted to decimal value. So we'll get here the value as 60% times the weight, which is 0 0.30 plus 70% is the weight and 80% are the marks. We'll write 80% and the weight is 0 0.70, right? So we can calculate this value and get the answer. So let's do it. So we have 60 times 0.3 plus 80 times 0.7 to give you 74% as the average weight, right? So, so if we do like this and if the weight is more for the test. As you can see, it is 80, right? Our average shifts towards higher mark, which is 80 in this case, right? So it is not 70. Normally, if the weights are same, you'll get average of 70. We got an average of 74. Since the test, which is at a higher weightage or importance, the person scored higher marks. I hope this illustrates the importance of weighted averages and how we normally find it in all the scenarios. Thank you and all the best.